Remove this panel by hitting return on your keyboard and then to the top of the screen to the left of where it says default left click on choose screen layout then left click video editing look for the button to the left of view that says graph editor left click on it and then left click properties To import a video into Blender you have two choices. You can either come down and left click on this add button here and then left click movie or with your pointer in this sequence line you can hold down shift followed by A and again left click on movie. Look for the folder where your movies are stored and left click on them. If you want to see thumbnails of your movie, to the left of normal, left click on the box that's got four thumbnail icons in it and this will bring up views of your videos. Then to import a video, simply left click on the video and then left click add movie strip. Now one of the problems with uh, Blender is everything disappears towards the right of this uh, sequence editor so if you roll your middle mouse you can uh, resolve this issue. And The other problem is you'll find nine times out of ten the um, blue video strip is shorter than the green video strip a green audio strip. Now the reason for this is probably or nine times out of ten although the audio will be at 25 frames a second and will be imported correctly into our blender the actual video strip uh, won't be because up here underneath frame rate it says 24 frames per second so just left click on this then left click 25 and you'll find this problem sorted. Another problem with uh, Blender is by default you'll only get 250 frames in this um, view. Um, and depending on your video obviously you're going to need a lot more than this so you can increase this initially um, and uh, decrease it or increase it further as you go so typically um, you come down to the bottom of the screen where it says end 250 just left click and type in something like 2000 and you'll find you've got a lot more um, space to work with okay if you point with your pointer in this screen here you can roll your middle mouse and increase or decrease the view um, but one problem you'll find with blender is when you left click on this green line here it will stick terrible and that's because you're trying to scan through these uh, a full video which isn't no good to anybody the way to get around this is to the left of this sequence sorry to the right of this sequence editor just drag this panel down and look for the box that says proxy time code and left click on in the box and you'll see a few options here if I want to say 20 which is 25 percent 5 for 50 70 and 100 now what this does is actually um, makes a proxy video which is um, obviously a lot smaller um, so if you leave this ticket at uh, 25 or 2 as it says in the box it will actually bring up a 25 percent um, version of the video you're working with but what it won't do is affect your final render when you come to render it this side so it's up to you you can left click on 50% I find 25 is perfectly adequate for editing with so just drag this further on down and then left click on rebuild proxy and timecode indices and what you'll see is a little bar scanning across the bottom here 
and then a matter of seconds it will disappear. Now with your pointer over the video type N on your keyboard and in the box it says view settings you'll see something which you can't see because I need to bring this out called proxy render size so click on the box that says scene render size and depending on what you've selected whether it's 2550 or whatever left click on it. I've done 25 so I'm going to left click on the 25% and then I'll close this panel down by pressing N. I'm going to roll my middle mouse so I can see the uh, view better. Now what I can do is scan across this and I don't get it sticking or jerking. Okay. And the next thing to do is decide where you want your video to start from. So I don't know, I'm gonna let's say I want to start just here. Now in this video, to the right of where the end frame is, you if you've typed in 2000 or whatever, I think I actually typed in 20,000, doesn't matter. There's a box that gives you your current frame. Now, this one says 124. So, rather than cutting it here, what I'm going to do is put in the start box where it says 1, I'm just going to left click and type 124 and hit return. So, what that means when I come to render this video, anything anything lower, lower than the uh, start uh, frame 124 won't get rendered. That saves having to cut my video about. Now I'm going to look through this um, video and decide where I want to finish. Or this clip where I want it to finish from. So, so we, I don't know, want this uh, clip to finish here. One thing y y is, is a good idea is actually uh, put a marker where this line is and all you've got to do for that is just press M and um, what that means is at any point if you want to come back to this after you press M you'll end up with this marker if you come to the button to the left bottom left that says marker and then either jump to next or previous it'll go straight back to where you wanted your video to finish this will be a bit more apparent when uh, I bring my next video in. So again either go down to add at the bottom here or hold Alt A with your pointer in the sequence editor and left click a movie. Again next to normal left click on the icons button and decide on another video you want to bring in. So I can't remember which one I brought in last. Let's try this one. So I'm going to left click on this one left click add movie strip and again I know this will stick terrible so I'm going to come down here I'm going to left click in the box next to proxy time code leave it at 25% and then left click rebuild proxy and time code indices wait for this pointer to uh, or this build proxy indicators finished and yes here we go lovely jubbly. Okay, so I need to now decide where I'm going to start this clip from. So I'm going to drag this slider over using my left mouse button and I want to come from this point here. So I want to uh, cut this bit away so what I'm going to do is just press K on my keyboard and then I'll right click on the audio to the left of this um, indicator line press X left click delete do the same on the blue video line press X left click erase strips now I want to bring this back to my marker so what I'll do is I'll come down to marker and I'll left click on previous marker brings me straight back now if I hold down shift and right click on the audio and blue video then press G 
I can move these two back to this point where I placed the marker that. So now if I use I now know this will start editing or rendering from this point and this will carry on here now let's stop this I don't know here okay so I'm going to leave this marker here again I'll put a or it, this line here I'll, I'll put a marker here so I'll no I need to press M getting what I'm doing so I'm going to press M and that will put another marker and again with my pointer in the um, sequence editor I'm going to hold down shift followed by A and left click video and look for something else that might be interesting let's have a look at my mate here okay now this has come down below the final uh, the last video now I don't want this so I'm going to just press G and move my mouse so that it's above and there's Sean nice chap okay left click to release again that video clip will um, stick like bilio so I'm gonna left click in proxy timecode and then left click rebuild proxy and timecode indices wait for this building proxies to finish and I can have a look at this video now okay so let's say I want to start this video here again I'm going to press K right click on the audio then X left click on delete right on the video X left click on delete then hold down shift right click on audio and video then G slide this back and if I can't remember where I wanted the other one to start all I do is come back to this marker left click and jump to previous marker and then G again and I can roll this backwards or forwards then left click to release so now I've got my video clips pretty well sorted and basically that's the simple bit of uh, video editing done you can um, cut the middle out of these same as you can cut the ends if you want and join them back together I'm not going to go into too much detail there's transitions you can put in all sorts um, but one thing we've got on this um, right now is far too much time so as I said I meant to put in 2,000 I put in 20,000 that's going to be no use to anyone so all I'm going to do is just slide this across to the end of the clip and make a note down here of the last frame and on this one it says 1080 so at the end frame where I've typed in 20,000 I'm just going to type in 1080 and hit return and there we go that's going to render from frame 104 to frame 1080 there's not a lot more you can do with this um, it's pretty straightforward once you get your head around it it's easy peasy um, okay finally to make something useful from your uh, video slide this panel down this properties panel down and in the output section next to it says TMP left click on the little folder and then decide where you're going to save your video as I said before left click on the buttons or on the uh, folders 
or if you like me, I'm a lazy sod, so I'll just bung it on the desktop and work it, worry about it afterwards. Then in this box here, left click and give it a title. I don't know, I'll call it Dr. Thorne. And then left click on accept. Bring the slider down further. And you'll see a box that says PNG. Now, if you render using PNG, these are images. You'll end up with shed loads of um, images instead of videos, uh, video clips. So just left click on this box. And under movie, decide what format you're going to use. So let's say I'm going to use um, MPEG. Um, and then left click encoding, the little arrow next to encoding. And again, you've got different um, setups here. Like this at present says MPEG-2. I could go 4 or QuickTime, but I'll leave it at MPEG-2. And the other thing, unless somebody actually points out right now, if I render this, I won't get any sound. So next to audio codecs, you'll find it says none. So left click on none and decide what audio you're going to use. I'm going to use AC3. You could use MP3 if you want, but I'll use AC3. Then drag this slider up. And under resolution, you'll see there's a percentage um, box, and it'll say 50%. If you want your video to render at its highest percentage, so either left click and drag this over or left click and type in 100. The other thing, you if you've made your um, video any other size than the standard that comes up on resolution in Blender, then you, it won't work properly. So there's one thing you'll need to do before you start um, editing is make sure that the X and Y pixels match your video pixels and they're probably as important as anything so always make sure XY matches the pixels on your video and also your frame rates the same and really there's not much else you can do basic editing you know you can carry on fiddling around with this but uh, that's it so all you have to do now is just left click on animation and you'll find this will pull through quite quickly and um, I'll just let this run and come back when it's finished uh, rendering once your videos finished rendering um, the only other thing worth noting if you want for any reason to go back into your sequence editor um, left click on this button here it will say UV image editor and then left click video sequence editor and that will bring this back up also if you find that you want to do more than three clips to the left of the sequence editor left click on this bar that says 0246 and then move your pointer up and you can obviously keep going on up don't know how far how many will go but there's quite a lot there so um, and that's basically one way of editing in uh, Blender there's not much else I can say really so hopefully um, somewhere here we are we should have a video full resolution that is actually plays quite well yeah not too bad and that's all I'm gonna do for now I might do a more advanced video editing tutorial sometime in the future also the other thing is I have got a link to do um, AVHCD videos um, which 
I tend to work with but um, not everyone's computer will manage running those but if you want to have a look at that there is a there is a video for that on YouTube thank you for watching cheers